What's going on guys? We are back for part two for today. I'm gonna do some head-to-head -head gameplay with these new masters. Take a look at how they play. So let's jump right into it. I've got some games pending here. And uh, let's start off, we're gonna go big man first. Yeah, big man then defensive then two-way. So big man lineup, the only difference here is we have that uh, conference finals Kevin Love. So we're gonna try to run this basically exclusively through him. I know he did not play well for me in League versus League this morning, but since then I have heard reports from some of my buddies that he has been a lights out shooter and you see already he's hitting the three. I don't know if this means that he is an excellent League versus League shooter and just not uh, an excellent head to head shooter I mean and just not great in league versus league. But, okay, no, he misses that one too. So he's not lights, lights out. It was a challenge shot, but he's not like Kyle Korver. He's just good. He got a block though. I like seeing that. Let's see if he hits this. Yeah, stop and pop, he hits that too. That's nice. That's what I want to see from my big man small forward. I want to see him be able to just be in position more or less Get the ball and just go up with it. Alright, let's Maravich come through for the bucket. Let's see if we can get him a shot here. That was tightly guarded and he still hits it. So, so far the head-to-head -head with Kevin Love is real nice. The league versus league was not great. I may have been talking too much and rushing it. That might be my fault. We will come back with more tests on that tomorrow for sure. Let's see if we can get the ball back here. Okay, block. Was that uh, Nick that got that block? Looks like it, yeah. Glenn Rice got blocked. Alright, Kevin Love with the block of his own. Another one for Kevin Love, actually. Kick out from T Mac to Love. Love drains the three. Okay, so he's four for five. He's missed one, but that one was highly contested. And it was kind of in the corner, like off in the corner of the wings. So that's a weird kind of shot. One thing about Kevin Love that's nice is his passing is extremely high. Let's see if he hits the fading. He does. He hits the fade away, leaning two point shot. So his mid range is solid. His three pointer seems to be solid. It may, honestly, I'm taking a second guess at this card. I may have been at fault for his league versus league play. I'm going to take blame for that until I can get further testing because so far in head to head, he's been pretty dirty. So we're going to say that he gets another block. Wow. That one was completely not me. I mean, I was selecting the player, but I don't think I even clicked block. I think that was all the AI. That's really impressive. This one I did try to block any misses, of course. But yeah, he's uh, hitting his shots. Everything seems to be working well with that Kevin Love and head to head. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call fault on my own self for the league versus league crappiness of Kevin Love this morning, because he was just missing shots left, right, and center. I don't know why I'm jumping like a moron, but yeah, he was just missing shots everywhere he went. And uh, it seems like in head-to-head, -head, he was hitting stuff. 17-4, to 4, that's a nice quarter. All right, let's get into the next one. Let's see, uh, this is, what, 6-6 six, six already? Ooh, a Movember Kawhi, that's interesting. And two rising stars. You got Master Harden and award winner Steph Curry. So let's take that on with our small ball lineup. And this is going to be all... Clay Thompson, the other conference finals master. So he's going to be the one putting up shots today. Not Jeremy Lin, who I usually shoot with, but Clay. And I have a feeling that Clay is going to be just dirty. I mean, we saw in League versus League he was hitting shots, um, but usually League versus League is easier than, is diff more difficult than head to head. So I'm going to assume that Clay is just a monster. Although his defense is suspect, I, I want to see. Uh, I really, really want to see his AI. Let's just pop for that shot. He hits it. Just the catch and shoot. I mean, that's kind of what Clay does 
in real life. He's not strictly a catch and shoot guy, but he'll like take a step in and then shoot. That's basically it, just like that. And he drains it again. Three quick threes for Clay. So it looks like he is absolutely a beast. Doesn't matter if he is, you know, oh, that's. I don't like it when those go in. They make me feel bad. I feel like I should get that. Let's get the clutch shot with Lynn just because I'm right there. But yeah, Clay Thompson, um, let, let's get something out of the way. Before I start praising this card and everyone starts giving me hate because he doesn't deserve it, I'm not saying he does. Let's get that straight. Clay Thompson absolutely, absolutely, in my opinion, does not deserve a conference finals master card if we are basing it on this conference finals. Kevin Love, I can understand. I think he posted double doubles basically every game. He's been a solid presence for the Cavs. Clay Thompson put up, what, like 11 points a game? He did almost nothing for the team. He was not a reason why they won. So I have a hard time giving him that card. And I'm not sure about the lineup choice either, considering we've got T Mac on all lineups, so that doesn't count. But. You have that fan favorite master, Penny Hardaway, and that's technically a free card. So the fact that you're going to put, you know, a conference final masters in the same exact lineup as a recent... Oh, he misses his first three. He heard me talking shit. Um, yeah, if you're going to put a conference finals master card, he got the steal though, on the same lineup as... You know, it, it kind of hurts. Like, the the Kevin Love card, too. I'm not completely sold. Big man, power forward, considering Aldridge came out right before him. And that was your conference quarterfinal master. Uh, no, he was a conference semifinal master. My bad. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but it is what it is. And I like this Corver card. Don't get me... Not Corver. I like this Clay Thompson card. I'm thinking Corver because... Uh, we have 90 Corver in the two-way lineup that I used here, but there's also a 90 Clay Thompson in the small ball lineup that came out for the... I think there was a playoffs card for him, too. I think it was a 90 or a 91. He also has in the small ball lineup that 90 throwback card. So I don't know why he got another one um, in small ball, but it is what it is. Corver... Not Corver. Clay Thompson is going to be good. Is this, did this freeze on me? No, it didn't. Okay. This is just slow to load. I don't know what's going on here. This, uh... Looks like it died on me. Let's try going out and back in. Wow. Okay. Let's just forfeit it. I mean, we saw the final score. It doesn't doesn't really matter I don't care that much about the fans or the head-to-head -head rankings or anything like that so let's get into the next game here we're up by two we're gonna go with a two-way lineup this is gonna be a lot of defensive boosts you got that Balloween Blake Griffin master Whiteside, and triple double Westbrook so on this lineup we have that Draymond Green is new and of course Bill Russell now let's look at Bill Russell for a second Hassan Whiteside is no match. Bill Russell doubles his passing, better defense. Hassan Whiteside has one extra point in shooting with boosts. Look at this. His shooting is boosted by 5. His defense is boosted by 10. So many boosts. His three-pointer is worse. His dribble is worse. He's faster, but he also has 7 to his speed. So he's only a little bit faster than Bill Russell. And if you look at this Draymond Green, this Draymond Green card is dirty as hell. All of his base stats on his card are above 80. Um, speed's an 81, which beats Blake Griffin because he's got that boost. Dribbling an 85, three-pointer an 84, shooting an 85, again beating Blake Griffin because Blake Griffin has that boost. His defense is a 92, which is awesome for a 6-7, six, 6-8 six, power forward. And his passing is an 88, which also is great. So let's get right into this, and let's take a look at how the two-way lineup... We're going to try to play mostly through Bill Russell, um, but Dre, Dre can hit pretty much from anywhere. Russell's not going to be much of a shooter, though, so we see that right away. 
he hit a couple of shots in league versus league for me. But Bill Russell's really going to be a defensive guy. His whole thing is going to be getting blocks and getting rebounds. So let's kick this out to Dre. Oh, missed it. <laughs> That's funny. I like that animation when they go diving for stuff. That's what Bill Russell does. That in the paint ability is honestly almost unnecessary. Because Bill Russell, his 94 overall card in the shooting lineup used to do the same thing for me. It was basically like he had in the paint all the time. I don't know where the offensive foul was, but I'll take it. Yeah, you just run slowly towards the paint, and Bill Russell's going to dunk it. Watch. He goes right up. Like, it's nothing. Like I said, the 94 overall shooting Bill Russell, same thing. He dunked from everywhere, pretty much. He was just so dirty, and uh, it looks like this card is just more of the same. Let's see if he can... All right, he got one off the post. That's nice. Posting up from the high post, and he just kind of does a little shimmy and drops the bucket. That's good to know that he has that in his back pocket. Okay, Bill Russell. Okay, he doesn't have that in his back pocket. But we can just go in and get that dunk too. That one's for free. That one's guaranteed unless you uh, get blocked. Which you got to try not to do. Most of the time that won't happen, honestly. The timing has to be really perfect, I find, for those blocks to get through. Wow, Draymond Green has a 96 block. That's so high. Oh, they got a blocking foul. Bill Russell is just taking fools to school. Let's get this ball back to Bill. Oh, nope. Back to Bill. Back to Bill. Three-pointer from Bill Russell. Almost. That almost went in. His league versus league, I took a three-pointer with him too by accident, and that almost went in also. And one nice thing is I don't see him. He's got a 99 block. Wow. Bill Russell. This guy is just going to be awesome. I can already tell. He's just going coast to coast. No problem. Bill Russell, man, he was one of the greatest for a reason. You can't stop him. It doesn't matter what you try to put in front of him. He's going to dominate. That's why this guy was putting up like 20 and 20. 20 points, 20 boards average throughout the playoffs. Some, something crazy like that. He's just a monster. One of the greatest of all time. That's going to be it for this. Um, I don't think... You know what? Just for fun, let's rip through some packs. I've I've done a lot of packs today, a lot, and I have yet to pull any elites out of these NBA Finals Pro Packs, but uh, let's let's go with like 300k, we'll open 11 of them, 330, so we'll get down to, no, we'll open 10 of them, <laughs> I like 18.75, I like the 750, that's a nice even number, so we'll open 10 of these, and let's see if we get anything, James McAdoo to start, and then a Rudy Gay. These packs, I believe, they guarantee you one gold player and one gold or better NBA Finals player. So, yeah, we get K. Felder and Julius Randle. That's two. This is the third. Let's see if we can get any elites. I'm hoping because if we get a round four elite, that'll make up for everything that we buy right now because those things are worth a decent amount at the moment. I would love to get one of those new Kevin Durant's or Kyrie Irving's. Those things look like they are fire. So far, nothing of note. I opened a bunch of these this morning, and the best pull that I had was a base Blake Griffin. And literally, that's like out of 75 packs, a base Blake Griffin. And now I'm opening more. Because I am a masochist and I like to see my coin disappear. Because look at this. So far there's been nothing. These championship patches are cool though. These are good. It takes... There's two sets that you can put them in. There, uh, There's a 10 patch set and a 5 patch set. The 5 patch set takes 9 hours to cool down. We got nothing. You know what? Screw it. Let's do another 250 because I have no self-control and it's always fun to rip through packs. Let's see if we can get down 
even still, if we pull a nice elite, it'll still... There we go. My first elite in one of these packs. Zaza Pachulia. He's going to go for like 300k, I think. He's not terribly expensive. But that's going to pay me back for most of these. I was at about 19. And now I'm at 18.66. So that's about time. And we get a double gold in this one, which is nice. K. Felder and JaVale McGee. These golds earlier this morning. That's the reason why I bought so many packs. <laughs> Dream on Green Impact is because these gold uh, round four player cards, they were selling for about 20k on the auction house, and it was 30k to buy the pack, so I was taking like a 10k loss. For me, that was worth it. I could buy 75 packs for 750k basically. If I pulled an elite, that was me making my money back. Unfortunately, it did not happen. So we're gonna open one more after this one, a double Shumpert. One shooting, one small ball. This is the last one. Let's see if we can pull another elite. That would be so sick. No, it's JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee. All right. So let's go over to the auction house. Let's post that Zaza Pachulia. Let's see what he's going for. I think we got the 91, the defensive one. He's going for, let's see, is there anything at 350? Yeah, there's quite a bit. I think I have one up on the auction. I think this one's mine. No, that's not. No, I put it up for 339. And these are 328. It looks like 325 is going to be the magic number right now. 325. Yeah, so let's do that. 320 and 325. So Zaza, 320k. Buy it now, 325k. And I didn't see mine there, so maybe it's sold. It did. Yeah, I put two of them up. I got one for small ball and one for defensive. I was trying to snipe the elites earlier this morning. Um, the price dropped on them too quickly to be worth it, and they weren't going for low enough. I bought these at uh, about 300k. They were selling for 400k this morning, so I was sniping everything at 300k, flipping it for 400k. Um, but... I basically made my money back on these, which puts me back up over 19 million, which is nice. And I last thing I want to do is just go through these sets quickly because I really like them. I think EA nailed it with these sets. Let's go ahead and claim this. Let's see if we get anything nice. We know we're going to get a good card, and it's J.R. Smith. That's one of the base elites, basically. J.R. Smith, Zaza Pachulia, Tristan Thompson, and I think the shooting version of Draymond Green. They're all going for, you know, hovering around that 350 to 400k. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. NBA Finals intro. This, you put up five of these collectibles and you get a gold elite. Uh, a gold elite. <laughs> you get a base gold playoffs player. And in this set, it's the exact same set. If you put in 10 of the championship pack collectibles you get an NBA Finals gold player. Seems like a bit of a ripoff to put in 10, but there's no cooldown on that one. Well, this one has a 9-hour cooldown. 10-hour cooldown. I feel like it was 9. I feel like that went up. It's possible that this goes up by an hour every time you use it. If that's the case, that's so ridiculous. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to find out because that would be crazy. I'm looking forward to... I have something that goes in here. Oh, yeah, it's true. I'm going to save these for later. I don't want to use J.R. Smith right now. I want to save him for later so that uh, way down the line, I figure in a week or two, that's when I'm going to start. At least uh, that's when I'm going to start sniping. Hopefully the prices dip. If I can get them under 200 k you can see I've got the three sweeps on each side. I'm hoping that they come out with a pick em set for the NBA Finals sweeps also. So that way I could get up to maybe seven or eight sweep, uh, sweeps. But yeah, so right now I need 17 from the west, 17 from the east. If they drop to about 200k, you're still looking at like 3.5 million per master. So they're not cheap. And then you need another 20 for the NBA Finals MVP. But this is a guaranteed 99 overall card, I believe. I think I saw that somewhere. Yeah. Collect 20 NBA Finals Elite Players, 2 MVP tokens to earn the 99 overall NBA Finals MVP. So for everyone who can't get Ruler Durant, here's your chance at a 99 overall. I know it's going to be difficult considering it's not going to be cheap, and I don't know that anyone will be able, just anyone will be able to get him. But yeah, aside from that, 
you've got both of these on three hour cooldowns. I like these two. Your slogans, I had so many slogans. I did those slogan sets all the time. If we do a rough count here, that's like 65, 85, 100, 120, 130, 167. I have like 100, and almost 200 slogans, including the 20 that are in there. So that'll get me like 10 of these gold players. And that's almost an elite by itself for free just because I played live events. And this is the same thing. I put those slogans into the slogan sets and I, I ran them every single time I was able to. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 33, 36. I've got 38 of these. That's another 19. So I'm going to get about two elites off of this. So that'll help me out. That'll be if I can get them soon-ish. I mean, they're three-hour cooldown each. So we're looking at a couple of days, maybe three. Hopefully the prices will still stay around three, 350K. So I should be able to make about five, 600K off of these two, just from having remaining pieces from the last couple of rounds, which I think is brilliant. I think that's going to give a lot of the starting off players or the mid-range players, guys who have been grinding, it gives them a real incentive to have grinded and to keep grinding in future events and stuff if stuff like this keeps coming out. But it's a nice reward for people who are going out and giving it their all. So for me, that's smart. Um, I like what they did with the Pick'ems. Now there's the which team will win. And then there is all of these peripheral Pick'ems. These peripheral ones, you can do these as many times as you want, which I think is really cool. So this, if you think Steph Curry is going to outscore LeBron, I can just keep putting in my golden pickums. I could have I could have eight of these Steph Curry points. If he wins, that's sixteen pickums. I haven't done that because I want to see how the series starts off. But uh, this is where I'm talking about. I'm hoping they have the sweeps. You see, they've got the quarterfinal and semifinal sweeps. I finished both of those masters, so I don't need it. If nothing comes out for the finals MVP or the finals master sweeps I'll probably put I'll get this week of pro packs and I'll get some of these NBA finals elite play oh they put out elite player I didn't see that this one is 50 pickums for an NBA finals elite player you can see I have some incorrect ones I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 incorrect and 86 correct so that's 97 total. I could run. I'm going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to wait and see if they come out with a sweep. If they don't, then I'll run this one for you guys and see what we get out of it. But uh, that's going to be it for me for now. So have a great rest of your day. And uh, we'll talk again soon, guys. Peace.